Hi, my name is Daniel Diaz Villafane. I grew up in Hartford, not that far from the library. I'm very grateful and ecstatic to be here performing today. I've learned a lot about um, Juan while I was doing my studies, and I'm very proud to say that I was inspired to write a piece about him. This piece that I'm going to be reading first is by um, Mr. Fuentes, called um, Tradición sin trabas. Tradición puertorriqueña, niña de música y de rima, con olor de monte adentro de coquí, danzas y espuma, con olores de melaza, con cantares de rosarios, con trujas de añas y cam campasas, de tibajaro, guido y maracas, la que petanzas y don Pe Pedro, de Diego, diostes de soñaron, viestas tradición se trabas y que pasado los siglos sigue mi isla escalaba. Um, while I was r reading and researching Juan, I felt proud in my heritage and I felt like there was a lot that I've learned about myself while reading about him. Um, it took me out of my comfort, comfort zone reading in Spanish. Uh, I've not, I don't have the strongest Spanish um, vocabulary. Uh, public schools have hindered my accomplishment with my Spanish and at home life. Um, but I've tried my best to encompass uh, the feelings that I feel as a, as a proud Puerto Rican from Connecticut and a person who is trying to, trying to build on, on that and um, just shed light on, on a, what seems to be a, 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 forgotten, a forgotten sense of, sense of power that we have. My piece is titled, A Generation Continued. I claim the sweet smell of Genepa trees as my cologne. The salty oceans that once hugged my body carved Taino symbols into hateful lungs, burned tongues that spit lies. I want the world to know that I am Puerto Rican, that I am proud to be. My voice is meant to be heard, meant to be strong, meant to be gentle, like, like a melody of Hector Lavo. I speak with the power of generations. I speak for the ones who are lost and the ones still waiting. My skin is beautiful, even when stains like white boy and milkman's sons squirm their way in, I refuse to ignore my beauty. My skin is the pale sand that welcomes all, the hard to get out your hair sand, the scorching sand that only knows embraces, the sand that you hide in your pockets and on your eyelashes and bring home miles and miles just so you can remember it type sand. I am more than just a vacation. I am a brother, a son, a connection, an artist, and a friend. I'm Puerto Rican, and I am one of many proud Puerto Ricans. Thank you. There was a, a story in one of his obituaries that made me feel scared and sort of uh, empowered and like entrusting in, in art and just um, fall right back in love into, into the art form that I've, I've tend to forget. He, um, he was walking down the streets of Harford with his friends. Uh, they don't specify, but I'm sure Harford Small is probably a street that I've been on. And um, he saw a citizen getting brutally, brutally uh, beat by, um, by officers. And instead of running like, like anybody else would, he, uh, he handed his camera to his friend and told his friend to take pictures. But he, his friend then told him, uh, Juan, your, your camera's out of film. There's no film in there. And he said, can, just keep taking pictures. And I thought that that was something that we can all take, take a, a, a little piece of with us, is that even though you might not have the tools or, or the, the mindset or the, the, the 
uh, ability to, to, to work or to capture or to protect or to stand up, you still can. You, you, it's always about putting your, first, your foot forward and, and standing up for what you believe in. And they never specified about what happened afterwards, but I'm sure the cops got a little bit standoffish and scared that they were getting taken photos of and probably brought to justice. And that's something that made me super proud to be Puerto Rican and just super proud to be from Hartford and, and just super proud to be able to, to read his work and share, share, dig a little deeper into his life. Being an artist is, is uh, being part of an environment that um, never dies. It's never estranged. It's never, um, you can't run away from it. And I would want the future writers or the current writers who, who don't have the uh, ability to just um, keep pushing themselves forward. Everybody shares, shares uh, life stories. Nothing, as much as I would hope, nothing is, is, um, is unique. Everybody needs to, to feel safe. And, and pain is something that, that makes everybody feel safe and scared at the same time.